What's going on guys, this is Gabe Ocean, the Nice Kicks resident unboxer. Of course, here with another Nice Kicks unboxing. It's getting to be that time of year that virtually every sneakerhead has been waiting for. Given the past five Christmas time releases, I'm sure you can guess what shoe we're taking a look at today. The Jordan 11 Gamma Blue. So without further ado, let's check out the shoe. Taking a look at the box and reminiscing for a second, it looks like Jordan brand is getting back to the more complex box for the Jordan 11 that was used for the Space Jam, Cool Gray, and Concord releases, but was skipped over for the playoff release last year. Mirroring the actual shoe, black covers the entire box, as you can see, with a matte finish up top, and a more glossy finish seen matching the shoe's patent leather. So let's open it up. Of course, we have the plastic covering that has also been a recurring theme for the Jordan 11 with the words, Tinker made them shine, Mike made them fly, and you made them iconic. I'll assume that's a direct shout out to yours truly. So, you know, shout out to Jordan Brand for the good look. Popping that off. It looks like the carbon fiber is getting some shine with this metallic silver paper. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, the shoe itself. I like to point out what's different this time around, and the obvious is the fact that a black midsole was used, and this is the first general release Jordan 11 to do so. Another thing I noticed, on the inner lining, where there's a more smoother material on other Jordan 11s, they went for a more gabardine-like material this time. Similar to the Jordan 12 Retro, the toe box is a tad bit slimmer. Moving on to the outsole, where we usually see a tinted blue translucent outsole, this time it's taking on more of a deeper indigo color. But that could be due to, of course, the black midsole. Up top, we have Cordura Mesh that has been seen on all the Jordan 11s, except for the cool gray, underlined by a patent leather that we have all come to know and love. On the tongue, we have the words Jumpman Jordan, and with the centerpiece of a Gamma Blue Jumpman logo. The Jumpman logo is also seen where we expect it to be in Gamma Blue, this time embroidered. And on the Achilles, we have a Varsity Maze 23. Like I said before, indigo tinted also with an all black carbon fiber shank plate. And for the herringbone sections, we have Gamma Blue. All in all, Jordan Brand is really making a statement to prove you can't really go wrong with the Christmas time release of a Jordan 11. But I want to know what you think. Should they keep the new colorways coming or stick with what works? Four days ahead of Christmas, you can pick up this shoe at your local Jordan retailer or if you're in Austin, Texas, the Nice Kicks shop. Will you be in line or online to pick these up? Drop a line in the comment section. This has been another Nice Kicks unboxing. I'm Gabe Ocean signing off. We'll see you next time.